over the past five and a half decades, the company went through many, many changes. In 2014, the company went through a major restructuring process. So the executive decided to embark on a process called Unwritten Ground Rules. That is a culture change program which allowed us to engage all our employees. At the time, 2016, each and every employee had an opportunity to give management feedback on their likes and their dislikes. So each and every team had an opportunity to sit with their colleagues to decide what positive behaviors they want to see on a day-to-day -day basis also went through a major change and that was the retirement of our chief executive officer Mr. Lincoln Matthews and one straight on was appointed as a chief executive officer so we saw an opportunity to turn a new leaf. We went back to our employees so that each and every employee has an opportunity to choose what they believe are the values that are going to support our new business strategy our new vision our new mission going forward the next five years. Employees choosing nine values which we believe these are the values that each and every employee must uphold and each and every employee must respect. So it was very, very important for us that we agree on these values and we do our utmost best and we all follow the same direction. We had very good values in Columbus, but as we discovered when we implemented and utilized the UGR program, which is our unwritten ground rules, it was clear that we had an opportunity to actually involve our people into the values and not only decide as management what the values should be. So I think we had a, a good process there and it was well supported by the team to actually assist us in terms of determining the new values of Columbus as we go forward. I think it's a fresh Columbus and it's a younger Columbus and we need to take that forward. We need to embrace the change. We own this not only to ourselves as a business, we own this to our employees and to our local community. If we are successful, our people will be successful, and if our people are successful, we will have a successful and sustainable community. The safety is a way of life where I work. Safety is part of production. Our safety means everything to us. We work with big machines. I'm female working in the male industry, but I'm still safe because I am my brother's keeper. We protect each other, we work together as a team. Safety is not only a practice in a working environment, but also outside of work. My fellow colleagues, please stop, think, plan and do. The best thing to do is always think safety. It's not just for us, but to also for our family. Because I mean, they want you safety to come home. And if you haven't started a family yet, then it's also very important for your pets because they are definitely expecting you back. To support the commercial network and the commercial efforts, we have dedicated technical customer services engineers. They work in very close collaboration with the commercial department and our sales managers to make sure we understand the requirements from the customer to be able to give them what they want. Around here, it's important for us to count on one another and to work as a team. Every single area in the steel plant counts on the, the area preceding it to make sure that we can eventually cast a good slab. A good example is, for instance, the electric arc furnace counts on the raw materials department that we get the right materials and sufficient amounts of it to make sure that we can melt it so that it can give the AOD the right transfer chemistry and the right mass. The AOD also counts on the arc furnace to give it the required tap mass as well as the required transfer chemistry. The ladle furnace on the other hand counts on the AODs to allow it to do as minimal adjustments as is required and the continuous casting machine on the other hand counts on the ladle furnace to ensure that it gets chemistry that is within specification but also the right temperature. So around here within the steel plant each area counts on the area preceding it to be able to make the slab that we need to make. And so it carries on through the rest of Columbus, where each section and each department contributes to eventually produce a sellable product to the customer. Each and every employee to understand and to know that together we can do more and live the value of my plant, my pride. We have a UGR system by handing out recognition awards to our employees that is showing these values. We hang it up in a place for everybody to see. I love my job. I had the privilege of being nominated for going beyond the call of duty. A pat in the back gives you more courage to, to, to face on tomorrow or any other challenge. So personally, I feel that if you are tapped in the back, not that it's needed, but the tap in the back, you go a long way. When I see my, my picture here and my fellow brother's pictures here, it makes me feel proud.
We feel it's important to recognize our employees for the extra efforts that they put in. The UGRs give us a formal way of recognizing employees. So we have a recognition awards board where we've got maybe a dozen, I think, so far. I think in the beginning it was something new and took a while to get off the ground. But as we started going forward and as we started recognizing more employees, then the guys' eyes open and they, they start to appreciate what it is. I think the UGR also contributes to better performance because the employees want to be recognized and then it makes them look for opportunities to do better or to do more, which helps us to produce more tons and perform better. You may ask the question, why recognition? Why is this important? You see, the attitude of gratitude, the attitude of appreciation is why we do it. A a simple thank you goes a long way. You see, here at Columbus, we know that we can do better. We know that there is room for improvement. And so, when we go that extra mile, it's not the extra mile. It is us doing what we need to do to ensure that things get done and things get done well. So when we do that, a pat on the back, a simple thank you. But here at Columbus, we go a little bit further than just saying thank you. We have a structured way of thanking our employees. We have an unwritten ground rule, which we formalized. We take a picture of you, we put you in a wall of fame, that when you walk past it, when your colleagues see it, they can see this person has done something well. This person has done something a little bit more than the ordinary. This person is extraordinary. And so that, we hope, inspires, we hope, ignites others, not just to do well, but to do better. And the next time they see their photo or they see their colleague's photo, they are inspired themselves. So here at Columbus, we have continuous improvement at the heart of what we do. The Rafael Naranjo Awards looks at problem solving in quality, in environment, employees are invited to participate and those who do extremely well get rewarded financially as well as being recognized by their peers. We also have the long service awards. So you see here at Columbus, recognition is a habit.